What's going on guys? I've got another CX haul to show you. I've got quite a few things. I've been traveling around. There's a few things that are still on the way, but I couldn't resist myself. I, I want to make the video. Let's go through what we got before it all falls out my hands. So we'll start off with the PlayStation 3 stuff with Destroy All Humans Path of the Furon. This is basically Destroy All Humans 3. Everybody knows about Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. They're the ones that got the remakes. But there was also Path of the Furon and another one called Big Willy Unleashed. Now, with this one, it was kind of interesting. I did click and collect, right? And it came, bit of a spoiler there in terms of the next one, and I, I actually needed to ask them to change the case because it really looked like somebody had done a poo in this and just closed it. There was brown specks of I don't want to know what just all over the case. So I was like, can you, can you swap the case? And they did, which is why it says Minecraft on the front of it. Next up, after that, as you may have already seen, we got God of War 3, a game that technically I already own. However, there are reasons behind this carrying on. We have another God of War 3, which, again, a game I technically own. Like at this point, me and God of War 3, we know each other very, very well. So there are reasons behind the duplicates that I'll get to when I can. There's, I, I can't tell you yet. Next up, we've got the Jack and Daxter HD Trilogy. These classic HD games in the PS3 lineup, they're quite rare. There's, some of them are getting quite difficult to find. I own nearly all of them. There's only like maybe three that I need. It's like Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, Zone of the Enders, and the Sly Trilogy. I think once I've got all three of those, I've got all of them. Oh, and Killzone HD, because for some reason in the entirety of CEX, there is no, not even one Killzone HD for Killzone 1. It's like 65 quid, whereas I could get Killzone 1 on PlayStation 2 for like £2. But yeah, Jack and Daxter Trilogy. Next up, we got Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast. Now, I used to love the Dragon Ball Z games. I had them all on PlayStation 2. All the Budokais, all the Tenkaichis, all of them from release. The Legacy of Goku games as well on Game Boy and things like that. But when it got to the PlayStation 3 era, just none of them were as good. I remember I played Burst Limit and I was disappointed because it wasn't like Tenkaichi. So I stopped getting them. But now I want to collect them all. And some of them are actually harder to find than you think. Like, even games like Xenoverse is harder to find than you might think. And... That's kind of crazy to me, but I saw Raging Blast when I took a trip out to Burton, which, let me have a bit of a rant. I actually vlogged my entire trip to Burton. I recorded the entire thing, me on my way, I, I, me stops, the, the, just, it was a cool video. It was like 15 minutes worth of footage, right? But the way that I typically record these videos when I use my phone, because it makes recording a lot easier, is that I record within TikTok because it does the stop and start thing in one file, save it and then upload that, which is why some of you may have noticed a few of my videos are out of sync and it's the ones that are recorded within TikTok. This one is still recorded on my phone, but I'm directly using the camera app. So each cut is its own file versus on TikTok where each cut is within the file and it's just its own thing. I've tried to resync it. It's just not within my skill set. I just can't do it. It's just, it, it's not like it's out by a set amount at different points throughout the file. It's like different amounts out. So it's not like I can just chop off half a second from the beginning pull it over and have it be lined up because it'll be in sync for the first few minutes and then it'll unsync again. It's frustrating. I'm livid because it was hours of me traveling around and I thought it was gonna be a really cool video and I think it's done in the water. It's on TikTok though, if you wanna see it. Moving on, but subscribe if you haven't already. Ease my pain. Okay, after that we have Killzone 3. As I said, I want to get the Killzone games. For those that don't know, Killzone's a bit of a dead franchise now, but it was supposed to be like the Halo, but for PlayStation. Like, they, they kind of even look somewhat similar. So on that same note, we've got Killzone 2. But Killzone 1, I can't get it. Not for PlayStation 3 anyway, not until it comes into stock. But there are literally zero of them right now, so that'll be quite a rare game when I can finally find it. After that, we have God of War Ascension, which, again, I already have, but there are reasons behind the duplicate that we'll get to um, when I can talk more about it. There's, there's a little bit of a cool thing going to happen soon. Um, it's, it's still, can't give you the details yet, but stay tuned. Also, I got one Xbox One game, which was Sunset Overdrive, which re realistically, this game is free on Xbox. It just is, like it's everywhere. However, I wanted it physically because it's a cool game and it would be nice to have, and it was two quid and I was like, I might as well. Now, moving on to the Xbox 360 games, we've got Bully Scholarship Edition. Um, I've got Kane is Kane in Edit for PlayStation 2, which is the Bully original version, but this is like the hd -er version. Everybody always says they want a remaster, but in reality, you can just play the 360 version and have it be exactly as you remembered it versus them changing something inevitably like they always do in remakes the majority of the time. Next up, we've got TMNT. This game, better than you might think. In fact, a lot of the Teenage Mutant Ninja games, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games were pretty good. In fact, I have these two Turtles games over here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
uh, based off the 2003 Turtles show and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Melee, also based on the 2003 show. Now, oh no, what have I done? Now, this one had two sequels that are also pretty rare and I'm keeping an eye out for them. Um, they're both like £80 and like £95, so I don't know when we'll get those, but at some point I'd like them. Okay, next up after that, we've got Jericho. This was an old school sort of first person shooter horror game. There was a bit of an era during the 360 PS3 time where there were a lot of first person horror-ish games, like Condemned, that they're not necessarily explicit horror in the same way that like Silent Hill, Resident Evil, or like Outlast is, but they were like horror themed. They're a bit scary. And that was Jericho. I remember I played the demo of this to death because you could like six axis control bullets, I swear to God, on the PlayStation 3 version. But, um, the 360 version was the one that I got. Anyway, moving on to the PlayStation 2 stuff. First of all, we have God of War 1, which, again, me and my duplicates of God of War, there are reasons that I will explain at some point. And it's kind of interesting, right? What is this sticker? Because I was looking at it being like, oh, great, another sticker that I'm going to have to remove. But let me show you something. My original copy has the exact same sticker on it from 2005. What shop is that from? Did they all come with that? Because maybe... Like, it seems like a shame to take off a sticker that is almost as old as I am, you know, and probably older than some of you guys watching this. I don't know. We'll see. And also, yeah. Next up, we have True Crime New York City. This was one of those other games that, when I moved house, just seemingly vanished. So when I was in my mum's house, I had most of the games that I have now, but a lot of the cases for the PlayStation 3 stuff and the Xbox One stuff just got wrecked, which is why I've been replacing so much stuff and why a lot of my covers for those consoles are reprints that I've been slowly but surely replacing over time. Um, but then on top of that, the PlayStation 2 stuff, rather than that getting damaged in my old room, um, was just locked away in one of my mother's cupboards for literally over a decade. So their conditions, the majority of my PlayStation 2 games are from my childhood, they're all in perfect condition because they've just never seen the light of day for over a decade. However, there are a lot of games, maybe 10 or so, that I can think of that I know that I own, but I don't know where they are. Because when I moved house, they didn't come with me. And now my mum has moved house as well. And we still don't know where they are. So I've just slowly but surely been replacing them. And True Crime New York City is one of them. A lot of people might consider it a bit of a GTA clone. But I think it goes way more in depth than the GTA games ever did. I really loved this game as a child. It's funny. Definitely probably should not have been playing as it as, as it as a child, but oh well. Moving on, we've got Red Dead Revolver, which is the original Red Dead game. A lot of you may not know that Red Dead Redemption is not the first Red Dead game Red Dead Revolver actually was. I'm currently working my way through playing through Gun, which came out within a few months of it, which was another Western game of the time. It's kind of surprising we don't have more Western games, considering how like violent the era is and how many different cool weapons there are. It's like... We had infinite World War II shooters, but not very many Western shooters. We got, like, what, Call of Juarez, and even that was only, like, a couple of games set in the West. We got Red Dead, which was, like, what, three games, and Gun. I can't really think of any others. Next up, we got Mercenaries. This is one I haven't actually played, but I know is quite renowned for being a fun game. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it. It's only two quid. I'm on the lookout for Mercenaries 2 for the 360 as well, I do believe, because I think the 360 version plays better from what I've heard. Next up, we got Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance because, and let me show you this. My very first Mortal Kombat game was Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Now, this is not a good game for you to play if you've never played another Mortal Kombat because it's completely different. It's not a 2D fighter. It's a 3D third-person fighter. So I loved uh, that game. And when I first played any other Mortal Kombat, I was really confused and a bit sad that it wasn't like it because... I feel like everybody has their fighting game of choice. Like a lot of people are like Tekken, Mortal Kombat, um, Street Fighter, etc. You sort of pick one. I was always a Tekken kid and that was my entrance to the Mortal Kombat franchise. So when I learned and started playing the others and they weren't like that, I was a bit sad. But now obviously I'm older, I don't care. But I want to own all the PlayStation 2 Mortal Kombats. Okay, next up after that we have Sniper Elite 1. Now... I don't know if I'll ever actually get around to playing this, and I imagine that it isn't anywhere near as good as the other Sniper Elites. And it's kind of strange that there are five of them now. Like, in reality, you'd think this franchise, by definition, is a bit of a one-trick pony, being as, you know, slow-motion sniping is kind of just... Like, how many games can you really make around that concept? However, there's something within my brain that will not let me only own one um, missing game of a franchise. I have to have all 
entries to franchises. It bothers me otherwise. So I can't just have two through five. I needed the original one. So this is one that, along with some of the other games on this list, I travelled over an hour and a half to find. So that deserves a like and subscribe on this video alone, right? Next up is another game from my childhood that I travelled for. Scalar. I played this to death as a kid, but it was like True Crime New York City. Um, in that it just vanished when I moved house. I still have the disc for it, but no case, and I don't understand why, and it's strange to me. But this was just... I loved this game. I don't know if it holds up. It probably doesn't, but I enjoyed it a lot, and I've been looking for it for a long time, and the nearest CX to me that had it was an hour and a half away, and today I drove all the way over there for the first time up some backcountry boofoo-ass lanes where, I swear to God, if I'd have stopped, somebody would have thrown me in the back of a... In, in the back of a trunk and they'd have been like one of us hot fuzz style it was it was risky business and it was it was a long day and i vlogged it and it's gone and i'm definitely not bitter even slightly but hey we we got the game now moving on to moving on to the next one and the final game of this list i do believe kingdom hearts 1.5 and 2.5 hd remix never played the kingdom hearts games and i know that people like them however I couldn't figure out which version of the games to play. I was like, is 1.5 and 2.5 the original game, but with extra stuff? Is it just the definitive edition versions? The K Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 appear to have been released on quite literally every PlayStation so far. So I was like, I, I don't know what to get it on. And I think that this is the version that I needed to get to play them in their best possible way. And thus concludes my haul of the last few days. There was actually some other stuff, but... I used click and collect and they didn't actually have them in stock, which is a good hack because if you do click and collect and they don't have it, they will deliver it to you for free. So if you know they don't have something, but they've got it listed in stock, you can then click and collect it and have them send it to you for free. For example, the other day, I traveled to a CEX a ways away from me and they happened to have a game that I've been looking for for quite a while, The Bourne Conspiracy on PlayStation 3. I don't remember having fun with it as a kid. and. I, I was like, oh, they've got this. I've been looking at this for a while. I didn't even mean to get it. It was just out in the wild. And I was like, oh, yeah, that one. And I handed them the case. And the dude spent, like, bless his heart, like 20 minutes trying to find the disc. But he couldn't. He just couldn't. It wasn't there. Um, and I was like, right, what I'll do is I'll click and collect. Because as far as the stock website is concerned, they have it in stock. Yeah. And, again, the procedure is if you click and, click and collect something and it turns out they don't actually have it, they'll deliver it to you for free. And the game was only, like, £2. And CX charges £3 per item on delivery. So for example, right there, I've got like, what, 15, 20 games. If I'd have click and collect it, if I'd have delivered each one of those, that'd have been, what, 30, 40 quid, something mental like that because of the price of the delivery. So if you know that they don't have something in stock, but it's listed as in stock, you can use click and collect to get it sent to you for free. Well, not for free, but like void the delivery. So yeah, I'm a little bit sad that my vlog went out the window of me, of me going traveling um, to find these games. I hope you guys would have enjoyed it if you if you follow me on TikTok and search Kale Vlogs because I'm aware at this point that some of you guys that subscribe to me and follow me here don't know about the TikTok whatsoever, which is ideal. That's that's perfect because I don't want the only reason that I have followers to be people that I'm sending over. You know, I want to be able to grow organically, otherwise it won't end up working out. At the time of filming, we're on on like eight thousand six hundred subscribers, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping to hit like eight thousand seven hundred today because it's like another fifty or so to go. It's possible, but it has been a slower day because, again, I lost an upload because I lost a video. But I'm definitely not incredibly bitter. I've tried to sink it. I've tried my hardest. I spent like an hour sitting here sweating to do it, but just, it's not working. But yeah, thank you to all of the uh, the new people here, and I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, I'll do another one when some of the stuff that I did click and collect on gets delivered. I've got like four orders coming. It's not going to be a big one because it's only just some mis miscellaneous stuff, but I'm looking forward to them coming nonetheless.